Or permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 2. <sighs> so I'm recording this in the winter, so it's already dark outside. Even though it's like not even six in the afternoon. Pitch black outdoors. Earlier today, I don't know if I talked about this, but earlier today someone was uh, blasting Weezer out of their car. Like they had the subwoofers up, they were playing Say It Ain't So. It's obnoxious. I like that song. Common place. Regret. 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 Catchy. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the core just blew up our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! Regret is a name, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier, and he's calling for help. Immediate. Grid Kilo 23 is hot. Recommend mission abort. Roger, Recon. It's your call, Sarge. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Get aboard that carrier. Secure the Prophet of Regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That Prophet is going to tell us why. I love the line. It's like she's Whoa. Holy shit, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Shake it off, Marines. I'm guessing that's a scarab, huh? Go, go. They'll regret that too. Nice. So I got SMG and battle rifle. Those are perfectly adequate things to go into battle with. We got Jax. That was pretty alpha. <laughs> the end is near. Fight for humanity. So this is... Um, so I wanted to mention. So ODST is a spinoff game. There we go. And uh, they wanted Halo 2 to be like what ODST is. The Chips Dubbo? Yeah, like, um, Bungie basically made ODST as an apology that, like, fighting through the streets of Mombasa, which is, I believe, what we're doing here now, um, I'm pretty sure that this is Mombasa. Guys, I was looking at the set dressing. Look, it's ammunition. That's cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, they wanted um, running through the streets to be more like it is an ODST, but they ended up not getting that with uh, Halo 2. And at the time, it was because of limitations, you know? Oops, that's a friend. An inexplicably British friend. Whenever I see a British guy in real life, that's the first question. Just, why are you British? Right. Should be a little more tactical in this. I'm kind of missing the DMR. Wow. Yeah, new Mombasa Police Department. Because, like, I do like the uh, battle rifle. It isn't as surgical as the DMR is, though. Like, the DMR can get some real shit done. And again, the difference of brightness is dramatic. 
between the two versions. But yeah, one of the things about, um... Can I dual wield? Whoops, wrong button. Nice. But yeah, one of the things, um, I mentioned months, months ago, at the end of, uh... Uh, Halo 1 that they ended up having to like change it a whole bunch there's a lot of executive meddling nice dominant um, but one of the things about it was um, dude he's, he's good oh that's what you meant. Thought he was just shooting the body on the floor. Oh, rip bow hammer, by the way. But yeah, they ended up getting a lot of uh, executive meddling with uh, Halo. Which obviously, you know, it saddened them. And they got a lot less of it with this. So Halo 2 is a lot closer to the, you know, game that they would have wanted to make. Which is interesting. I, uh, I don't think executives should have as much power as they do in almost any field. Because, like, there have been a lot of comic books that have been absolutely ruined by people who aren't actually on the writing or artist staff. And they say shit that they want whether or not it actually goes with the comic, and they ruin it, you know? And sometimes comics are just bad because they, you know, the writer was going through some stuff or he had a really stupid idea, bad decision, something like that, you know? It's like a tower defense segment here. Hmm. Oh, that's a scarab. No, it's not. Phantom? Yeah, that's a phantom. Careful, dude. Dude. The, the difference of music quality is the thing most surprising to me, I think. Yeah, like, I keep expecting a door to open up. And for us to, like, move on with a level, but that isn't happening, by the looks of it, at least. I don't even have any skulls on. That just happens. My girl's a little big for that courtyard, Sergeant. I see it's good LZ on the other side of these buildings. Meet you there. Over. Copy that. Someone get a satchel on the gate. All right. Wow, this soundtrack, man. I, uh, I picked, I think the song is called Undying. Um, it's from, oh, Hunters. Hunters. Here we go, buddy, here we go, buddy, here we go, buddy, here we go. I love that the, uh, the UI that the UNSE uses has a place for Covenant Grenades. Come on. Oh, man. See, I talked about how um, there's not a lot in the way of, uh, squad. This is Cortana. What is over? like, boss fights for Halo. And, like, to be honest, I'm okay with that. Because um, Doom really only has two boss fights. And that's consistent for a long while. Like, the Barons of Hell in Doom 1 are considered a boss fight, but they really aren't. 
Oh, that'll do. Oh, wow, this thing looks cool. Yeah, in Doom 1, the Barons are considered a boss fight, but they aren't. They're just two really tough enemies. And later on, when you have better artillery and you know the game more, those things will show up more commonly. Sergeant, I need you on that bird. Ma'am? My pelicans are going to start airlifting armor and reinforcements into the city. They'll need an escort that isn't afraid of a little hostile ground fire. Right. So the dark areas are less dark, but the bright ones are brighter. We got a beam rifle. Cool. This thing's cool. Coward. So what did, what did they drop off? Sorry, I'm not paying attention to... Well, I'm, I'm kind of just awash and like... Oh, he's dead. Yeah, it was like this thing. I had a uh, action figure of a Halo 3 Elite with uh, with one of these. Cuddle up, huh? Probably overkill to kill, uh, kill bug buggyloids with this. I'm feeling fantastic. I must say. But yeah, this this game is apparently a lot closer to what um, Bungie actually wanted out of Halo. Were, were they to make Halo? This is what they wanted. Give me your gun. Ah, oh, he won't take it. I have too, too little ammo. I really want to um, read up on the Halo music because it sounds the 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 styles involved are so unique. So on higher difficulties, that's a one hit kill. Did I have your gun, dude? Hold on. Oh yeah, I've already used this thing actually, now that I think of it. So reloading uh, while dual wielding will um, take longer because you're doing it one-handed. Uh, oh, yeah, give me one of these. Yeah, you're doing it one-handed and you're also um, Sorry, I'm focusing in hardcore into this, like, sniper duel I'm having with everyone. Because Jeeva's reloading one-handed, it takes longer, but there's actually an explanation for how the hell it works. He's got little, uh, clips of- his, his clips of ammo are being kept on his waist anyway. You know, on his- on his thighs. So, he basically, instead of picking up the ammo off of his thigh and slotting it into the gun, he just slots the gun into the ammo, and it's pretty difficult to do, so it takes longer. So that's the logic. I just did it, dude. Don't worry. I know. Oh, man. This game is really something, huh? Let's cover. Can I have one of those? Thank you. Kind of just firing blind here. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh. Don't worry, I got you. Oh man! Wow! That thing still looks pretty good. Get out of there! Get out of there! Like, his Halo 1 kind of looks like crap, you know, now. And it has its moments of like, oh, wow, that actually looks pretty good still. 
But for the most part, you know, it's pretty bad. Just because it was a 2001 Xbox game. Like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You're, they're going to get their money's worth out of the engine, but no promises about the quality. Yo. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's try out a Warthog, huh? Hop in, everyone. Yeah, the guy I gave a, a the guy that I gave a gun to. He, uh, he he lit some dude up. He lit up an elite with it. Oh hell yeah! So this is the opposite way that the warhog is pointing, and I kind of figured that it wouldn't be the path forward. Wow, yeah, this looks really good still. That bridge is the most direct route to the city center. It uh it reminds me of Half Life One, or no, it doesn't of Half Life Two, because Half Life Two, you know. It shows its age, but it still has a lot of good in it. I'll take the warthog. Well, should I? I'll, I'll take the warthog because they gave they gave me a lot of buddies for this. I really want to get my hands on a ghost at some point, though. I want to see what the Halo Two ghost is like. I can honk. Hear that? Shoot him, shoot him. Uh, sir, I seem to have wedged my, this is, this is kind of a fender bender here. Okay, we knocked the armor off of that, so that should make it a little easier. There we go. That grunt, oh man, that grunt got totaled. That was, in fact, a beatdown. Nice. Job's done, man. That was great. Can I get up on here and fuck some shit up? Okay. Wait. You get out. This one. Uh, I was hoping that I would get, I would give him my gun so he'd have a better weapon than default shit. Yeah, you can hear it. And I can flash the lights on the back. That should be a little easier to tell because you can see it. Oh, man. See, like Chief, Chief is kind of a nobody because you know he is lucky and he does carry Cortana and he is you know a Spartan too. But in Halo One, he's unremarkable, and then he blows up Halo. Oh, I ate that one, yeah. oh wow, <laughs> that was awesome. And and now he's now he's now he's the God of War, you know. Now he is resolute. He's unstoppable. He cannot be killed, you know. I'm gonna give the Covenant back their bomb. Holy shit. Hold on to it, hold on. Get a little wet here. Land it. Nice. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's break into here. Oh man, this thing's starting to crap out on me. Puzzle. Guys, you can catch up if you want. You can boost. This is power. This is power. It does help explain why they came here with such a small fleet. Go, go, go. 
Actually, wait, can I just speedrun this? I gotta say, this is kind of fantastic. Whoop. Land it. Nice. Trying to, like, take evasive actions, but don't have a lot of options. Though just with movement, I'm able to... Are they glassing? It's the scarab! Oh my god, wait, am I on the... Is this is this where ODST takes place? Like, with scarabs on the... Because th this is what's happening in ODST. In the last level of ODST, you're on Cairo Station. Hold on. I need a fresh one. Thank you. Sorry. Just be out of your hair now. Be yeah, in the last level of ODST, I guess you'll see uh, when I play that, because I'm... Ah, they caught up. That's nice. Um, Yeah, it's, it's you and the ODSTs on the bridge. And uh, they're all trying to fire. Uh, there's a bunch of scarabs. It's a whole thing. Oh, here we go. I assume. Yep. Don't worry, guys. Bringing the party to you. I think my nose is bleeding. Oh, yeah, it is. Ah, oh, power through it. See, maybe I can just force it to soak up so much plasma that it'll... There you go. Wow, that's, I don't think that's a rape. That's something different. This is really cool. We've got the Warthog up there. Solved. Oh man, that Warthog, I think that Warthog is, it's seen better days, I'll give it that, at the very least. Awesome. Yeah, you guys might want to bail out. Is that my warthog? Because if it is, that means that they would have gotten ahead of me. Oh, land it. Like a glove? I feel like I could flip a ghost over. Like, Covenant shit is all, like, sturdy but light. Although some of it is deceptively heavy. I've, I'm, I've been led to understand it. And, like, it's also on anti-gravity. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. Get back in. Get back in. Stop. Why is it doing this? It's just pirouetting. All right. Time to shuffle up and deal. This is really cool. Now, I don't know if I've gotten a checkpoint recently, but... Ooh. Get out. Oh, okay. I hope that checkpoint's up. Sometimes checkpoints don't take if you're moving too quickly. They do. I mean, it did. Recharging. See, the faster recharge is really good. I, I have to fucking like dance with these things. Fuck. Okay. Let's see if we can't just power through. I don't know if we can. Okay, see that's the problem with that. Gun. God, there's another one. It's over here somewhere. Where is it? See, I'm used to um, three in ODST and Reach for that matter.
Whoa, is that a fresh gun? Or a, a fresh ship? Because uh, I'll take that. Oh man, you blew it up, you maniac. What the hell are you doing? What? Let's see if this works. Okay. Yo. So I guess a shadow turret is distinct from a shade turret, huh? That's better. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. I've got an idea now, though. Go, go, go. Now get the hell out. Get up here. You can't shoot me while I'm in you, asshole. Please stop shooting at me. Okay, there we go. Now I just need to lay down some covering fire so they'll fuck off and leave me alone. Wait, I need them alive. Oh man, this is painful. God, like the startup sequence on that is brutal. And it shoots so slow, you gotta lead like a motherfucker. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh shit. That was a. I think that was a good ghost, but I blew it up. Yep. Come on, hold still. Just die. <gasps> oh, there we go. Oh, boy. So, yeah, if you board a... You can now board uh, ships, which is a thing that I tried to do in Comet Evolved, but you can't. Because I didn't put it in until this game. It's some of the other just, you know, weird things that are changed or different in Combat Vault. All right. Metropolis. It's going to be a cutscene here. I'm going to boost my audio. Game audio, that is. Hoo mm. Where's the rest of your platoon? Wasted, Sarge. And we will be too, sir, if we don't get the hell out of here. You hit Marine. N no, sir. Then listen up. The chief is gonna jump in this tank. Roll across the bridge and blow up any inhuman son of a bitch dumb enough to get between him and the prophet of regret. Pull yourself together, because you're going with it. What about that scarab? We've all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the Master Chief. He'll know what to do. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like. <laughs> Oh, man. Ladies like armor plating. You know what? 
I can. Oh, screen tearing. I can respect that. Let's go. All right, hop on, you guys. Is that a? Sp That's a rocket launcher. Hell in, yeah. Let's go. Oh, we have a Vulcan cannon as well. I assume it to be a Vulcan cannon at least. Wow. This is quite something. This this is awesome. This is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how much Halo 2 I missed out on. I could have been I could have been playing Halo 2 for all this time. Like, I got Halo 3 when it came out because I was like, ooh, hype, Halo 3. I like that. Ooh. And I, I didn't know what I was getting into, you know? I was like, Halo is, a, Halo is a big deal. People are making a big deal about it. I'm interested on that. And what I found was a very fun, you know, game with a lot of cool lore, a lot of story. And, like, I played ODST um, soon after. I got Reach when it came out. I played probably hundreds of hours of reach with my sister. Sweet lord, yes. And like going back to Comet Evolved is a very interesting piece of shooter history. Oh wow, it takes so long to turn. I like that they actually let you turn the uh, the camera and reticule quicker, though, because if they if they fucked with your settings, it would be a little annoying. God, look at the difference! Oh, we got more guys. Do you want to hop on, dude? Please join me. You can probably hear me madly clicking. <laughs> oh man! See, this is what um, this is what uh, I I mean by boss battle. It's like on foot, a banshee can be a boss battle, but the thing is, that's just a tougher enemy. And by tougher enemy, I mean slightly tougher than the norm at a vehicle. So it's quicker and it has better firepower, but... And, like, when you're in one of these, things that would normally be considered mini-bosses or, you know, like, a, a, a rival, you know, are normal enemies. And, like, I've been blowing through uh, regular elites like this is a Muso or something. Yeah, you ain't going oh, I can see why they would um, make ODST for the uh, more you know slow-paced, thoughtful ways of going about new Mombasa, but uh, it's interesting. You know, I'm, I'm glad ODST was made. Playing this, I I'm less sure how necessary it is because like this is fantastic, but. Oh, wow. And that brass comes in. This is so... Tank's starting to crap out on me, and so I hope I'm getting near the end here. This thing is covered in fire. You're alive? There you go. Whoa. So I can't remember what game it is, but there are certain... Um, there's a weak point that you can exploit with Banshees. You know, the little, the little flying ghosts, essentially. Because with these, they're motorcycles. You just shoot at the driver because the driver isn't wearing anything other than the regular armor that everyone else has. Well, the Banshees, I think you can basically shoot them off the crack. Like, assume that the Banshee is, like, a, a, a typical, like, bird or mammal. If you shoot him basically up the butthole, you can snipe the, uh, the driver. Sector B is closed. 
You'd be amazed how many places will open for you if you've got a tank. Dude. Trying to park that giant Mack truck in this tiny little garage? What the hell are you doing? Get out of here. Then again, I have I am no stranger of uh sneaking uh one moment. Sneaking weapons into small areas. Okay. Wanted to check my audio and that I'm recording. This feels like a lot longer. I mean I'm having a blast, but like Just get off of me, you know? You're just annoying me. You're not impeding my tank prog- Wow. We didn't even see him, we just heard a squelch. So now I'm seeing this, and like, elites are really only given that like, really dramatic like, oh shit, like, quotient, that, that, awe in Halo 3 and Reach. And because of storyline stuff in this game, they don't even appear in um, Halo ODST. It's kind of funny that Halo is called Halo 3 ODST, that that Halo is 3 ODST, but it takes place after 2. Actually, it takes place during 2. Um, thank you for the tank. I'm going to swap out though. Or am I going to have people with me? I, I like... Because the thing about the Warthog is that the... Okay. The primary use for it is... Is that it's the party's ride. Move up. I really want to play Halo multiplayer. This, is, this should actually help me in... Uh, my technical speedrun shit. Oh, word? Come on, vent it, damn you. You don't get a lot of shots before it has to vent. You can only shoot like two back to back. I guess it just asks patience of you. I don't have much in the way of that, though. Gotta say, that was pretty baller as well. Let's see if there's a fresh one around here. Actually, this one should be even fresher, right? Oh, yeah, and then the light guides me in here. I talked about how uh, in video games you can often... I mean, it, many times I've talked about how you can use light to guide people, you know? Like, oh, this place is lit up. Game wants me to go here. Wow. Bash him in the teeth. Oh, man, I dropped my gun, actually. Well, that'll have to... That's okay. Just give me yours, huh? Fresh. Now this really reminds me of the first level of Halo 1. Or no, Halo 3, sorry. Gun, Don't stand still. That's suicide. Hip. Shoot. That ain't good. Gauss Hog! Oh man, I didn't think they showed up until Halo 3. That's awesome. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Some fresh gun. Word. Okay, maybe I can plasma it. 
There you guys go. So it takes six energy to shoot once, by the looks of it. All right, now where do I go? Oh, I'm just back up here. Hell yeah. Hell goddamned yeah. I love this. I love every second of this. Oh, the Gauss hog. No, and that guy. Is that Sergeant Johnson? I'm trying to flip him over. Don't know if that's possible. Well, this is pretty clean. So why don't we just boost our way out of here? I love doing battle ghost to ghost. It reminds me of the uh, Mario Party minigame where um, everyone has balloons on their butt and and spikes on the front, and you have to... Oh, we got wraiths, huh? Everyone has balloons up th on their butt and uh, spikes on their fronts, and you have to uh, you have to pop everyone's balloons to win. Yo, word. Um, the levels really really shine here, because you can because um I talked about how Halo was very Halo was revolutionary because. Like, uh, vehicles were just placed in a level, and you could just freely swap between vehicle and non-vehicle. And there's no reason to... Animal, guys. There's no reason to use a vehicle. Um, I mean, it's not necessary, barring a few specific instances. French bot. I don't know if that's going to penetrate. Let's see if we can't tango then, huh? Come on. Let's go. All right. Word? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yo, this is that new shit Marilyn Manson must have been talking about. This is power. Not entirely sure where I'm meant to go next at the checkpoint. Do they just want me to shut down the wraiths? Because if so, mission god dang accomplished, huh? Anyway, yeah, so, um... But one of the things I noticed about Halo is that the levels are a lot wider and bigger, but there's not as much in them. But here, I, I, I really feel it, you know? I'm going through areas. I'm doing shit. It's good. Incoming message, huh? Oh, oh, it's terminals. Okay. Velvadami. Vadami's most recent and damaging blow to the UNSC was the fall of Reach. Oni has still not been able to fully determine how Vadami located the planet. And once again, he caught us completely by surprise when his forces arrived in orbit and on the ground. So I believe Velvadami is... Um... Vadami is responsible for over one billion total casualties and the loss of at least seven human planets. Yeah, I think Vadami is His forces have defeated all UNSC counterattacks at the cost of 123 fleet vessels and over 23,000 personnel. And now with Reach lost, Oni and UNSC strategic AI report a 0% confidence that the Navy can stop Vadami through traditional means. In the opinion of this investigator, Vadami is the most dangerous Covenant military asset on the field. It's common knowledge that the Covenant have a significant technological advantage over the UNSC, but are sometimes inflexible in their tactics. This is not the case for Vatican. 
We cannot predict what he'll do next. But given time, we fear he will dismantle all remaining UNSC strongholds. This agent's recommendation, immediate termination. If humanity wants to survive this war, we cannot do it with Vatimi on the field. See, I'm pretty sure that that's the uh, guy that we saw in the cutscene getting his armor stripped from him. I didn't know that they put the terminals in. That's interesting. I know that uh, terminals showed up in three as a way to get lower cross. When I asked for reinforcements, I didn't think they'd send a Spartan. We got trouble. Oh, these are the guys in the uh, in that in that cutscene there. Holy. Oh man, that was a scarab. I mean, that was a, a scorpion. The, the, the thing, huh? The little tank? Yeah, the big tank is the scarab. What an amazing set piece. So can I hijack that or? Wow. Oh no. I'll carry on your bullets, dude. Oh man. That thing has power. I wonder, has anyone ever driven a scarab? Can you do that in Halo? I don't actually know. Fuck, you can hear me scrabbling at my keyboard here. Oh, and you turn the flashlight off, it fades slowly. Weird. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Give me that overdrive. <laughs> I, I see what's going to happen. Well, maybe I don't, but I know what I'm going to do. See... That's a ball drop right there. I dropped the ball there. I see it now, though. I know what I'm doing. Much better. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, I am I am delighted at this. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there we go. Yep, all I needed was the practice run. Chief and return to you in Amberclad. Roger that. Status. Sir, the Prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, Commander. All Vector 2 heavies for star side intercept. Bam! Flip space rupture off the target's bow. It's going to jump inside the city. There's no time, sir. Green light. Green light to engage. Punch it. Get us close. That's, uh... Yeah, that's the opening 
cutscene of ODST right there. Ma'am, without a destination solution, we are not losing that ship. It reminds me of Mike Nelson's uh, impersonation of Captain Janeway. Definitely can't hear me through all that ruckus, though. Wow, god damn. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo. Holy shit, that was so cool. <laughs> every every level of this has been the coolest level so far. Like, am I going to be disappointed when I finally go back to Halo 3? God damn. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Halo 2. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm looking out. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the permanent back their bomb.